friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on a July 9th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, and volcanoes, and world weather. Having a look at the last 48 hours on our sun, we just had yesterday the M-class solar flare, which took off from the northern region sunspot right there, and we are looking at Another flare just on the right-hand side in the outgoing position. Looking at all the activity incoming left-hand side, those dark lined regions. Those are plasma ropes stretching across the southern hemisphere and across the north. We've got these incoming sunspots. One of them is pretty active. Another one cresting in there. Looking at outgoing here, we had that CME take off from the small eruption yesterday, filament eruption. As well, watching the last few frames for a pretty sizable C-class solar flare right there. We'll have a closer look here at the region that took off. C-class solar flare. There's the M-class. We've also got that other sunspot region. And right here, large blast C-class solar flare and CME detected by ISWA. Having a look at multi-spectrum at all the events the last 24 hours on our star, it looks pretty mean right now. Some active sunspots, plasma ropes, filaments, and as well, coronal holes. 193 angstroms here, and you can see those blackened regions. Those are the coronal holes. And see the way it's arched around there, stretching into the southern hemisphere. That's got to be a lot of energy. So we can expect the coronal hole wind stream to be encoupled with the solar flare from yesterday, or late last night, the M-class solar flare, and as well now a C-class solar flare. A couple of them, actually. Looking at solar x-ray flux, showing the M-class and two C-class solar flares. Solar proton flux is jacked up a little bit today. Geomagnetic activity remains steady. And Lasco 2 showing both of the events taking off from the outgoing regions of our sun on the right-hand side there. Two C-class solar flares. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying all the information shared here with Daily Events Worldwide. Much love. Stay safe and stay healthy. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 385 kilometers per second. Highest readings today were 420, 420 kilometers per second. Density bunches were up there today, 12. And look at the polarities and the phi angle flipping out today. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the CME, one of them taking off towards Earth. And this is expected to arrive 10th into the 11th, so tomorrow night and into the day after Sunday. Schumann residence for today, a low power of 9. Not too much to talk about here with the Schumann. Just quickly show the telemetry graphs. Let's get to earthquakes. The last 24 hours, we're sitting at about 235 earthquakes, which is uh, around our average for the USGS reporting. The last 24 hours, our largest being a 5.8 here. Marianas Trench, Pagan Region, Northern Mariana Islands. There's been a few of them in the region, 4.7 raging to 5.8. As well, King Kong, Indonesia, 5.2 at a 50 kilometer depth. Active through Papua New Guinea, 5.0, two of them. As well, Fiji Islands, 4.4 here, 538 kilometer depth. That's the deepest the past 24 hours. 5.4 there as well. Kermadec Islands. And I just wanted to show you here, this is the past three days for earthquakes, as I did not 
produce an earthquake update yesterday. There were quite a few deep earthquakes through the region, so we were expecting some large seismicity, and we did get it with two 5.8s over Marianas, Marianas Trench. As well, watched increased activity through uh, Sumatra, Indonesia. Minor activity here continuing through Hawaii. Nothing major to report through Japan. Now, Alaska has been pretty busy the last couple days as well. 5.2 rang out yesterday. Atka, Alaska at a 10 kilometer depth and watching the seismicity continue to go through the region, but nothing major to report. North American plate, pretty quiet considering as well. Rare earthquake here in Miramichi, Canada. Looks like Nova Scotia. And nothing major to report across the North American plate or Canada right now. USGS reporting 234 earthquakes past 24 hours and no major swarms to report. So pretty quiet day for earthquakes on average right now with 230. Peru with a 4.1 there. And as well, San Vito, Costa Rica, 4.1. And a rare earthquake here occurring in Germany. In Rengendingen, Rengendingen, Germany, 4.0 earthquake. And as well, earthquakes continue at Port Blair, India. Been watching things really shake through that region over the past seven days. So heads up, friends and family across the world. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world. And as well, updating here with the most recent volcanoes. Looking at Fuego in Guatemala, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Sevencaya, Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Ebico in Russia, Simaru, Indonesia. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today, including Sangay in Ecuador. Two tropical storms to talk about. One is Originally an Atlantic storm, Bonnie, who raced across Mexico and it was now a Pacific hurricane. So you've got Bonnie, and then another one has just formed right in behind her, Darby. Tropical storm Darby is alive, and it looks like it's going to be ramping up to possible Category 3 over the next 36 to 48 hours as it heads straight west following Bonnie. Extreme heat moving across central United States. Monsoon conditions continuing across Southeast Asia. Watch for the forecast here coming up. There's tons of rain heading your way. Fires reported in Spain. And nothing major to report here. Satellite imagery showing no major storms or extreme weather events affecting Europe or Africa. Mostly the monsoon rains are the big concern right now. Now let's have a look at Eventu Sky. Next 48 hours for forecast here, world weather forecast, starting here in North America as we do have a low. Off the coast of BC, going to be bringing rain northward. And as well, a low coming through the prairies, bringing down a couple late season cold fronts. So it will be dry through Ontario until about Monday or Tuesday. Could see some scattered showers pop up. And then watch for a low pressure system to head into shores of the Gulf of Mexico as well this week. Crashing into those cold fronts. So you could see some pretty intense action along those cold front lines. Convergence zone heading right over North and South Carolina. And look at this long line of moisture here Sunday into Monday. Gulf moisture heading straight up in and around Iceland. Following those trade winds all the way up to Greenland. No major systems affecting South America this week. <clears throat> and no tropical systems developing in the Atlantic. Overlooking Africa. The next few days, not too much to talk about. And then we get to Europe. We do have a low coming in this week. Looks like it'll be coming in Monday. 
over Turkey. Could see some pretty extreme weather through the region. And as well, look at all this rain coming into western India. And as well, Myanmar and Bangkok. We got a grinding low up in the Indian Ocean there. And there is a ton of rain forecasted here for the next few days. So heads up, friends and family from around the world. Many people getting affected by this over the next few days. Especially through parts of Vietnam, Singapore, and Mumbai, India. Overlooking Australia, Papua New Guinea. Nothing major to report over the next few days. You do have a cold front slipping into western parts today into tomorrow. But no major weather changes coming your way. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.